I decided to make a captain's chair for a relative who is around a year and a half old. I started off by designing the chair in SketchUp and producing plans, although the design wasn't 100% final and there were still a few issues that needed to be ironed out, but I wanted to start making it anyway and tackle the issues as they arose. We started out by printing out and gluing the plans onto some 18mm plywood. I then cut all the pieces out with a jigsaw which took a while. The legs were made out of 40mm thick dowel and the side supports out of 16mm thick dowel. I then turned the legs on the lathe to add a taper. I could have made these out of regular stock, but I thought it would have been easier to start with dowels. If I was to do this again, I would have used normal stock, as centering the dowels properly on the lathe was challenging, and I never did get it exactly right. Because the dowels were a soft wood, they also required a lot of sanding after being turned. I made a couple of simple jigs out of scrap wood to make angled holes in the seat and the armrest of the chair. These will accept the legs and side supports. To make them, first I glued up some blocks. I then drilled holes using the drill press to make sure that they were square to the face of the wood blocks. Cut the top of the blocks off at an angle using a table saw. Because of the size of the pieces, this probably wasn't the safest way of doing it, and if I was to do it again, I'd probably drill holes and cut the angles out of a longer piece of wood, and then cut the width down at the end. I made the larger jig for the legs too large the first time because I didn't measure the drill bit which was stupid, so I ended up making this again. I made a few jigs so that some pieces could be at 10 degrees and others at 12.5. <laughs> The seat of the chair was going to be made up of two layers of plywood, only the bottom layer needed the leg holes to be drilled out and the top layer had to have the side support holes drilled. I drilled these using the jigs I made. I then glued the two layers together and applied pressure using a vise and some clamps. I also made the armrest out of two layers of plywood, again I only drilled holes in the bottom layer to accept the side supports. I then stuck these together temporarily using double sided tape so that I could shape them together and sand them flush. I positioned the base of the disc sander at an angle to the disc to achieve a taper on the outsides of the armrest. I then set up a drum sander in the drill press and made a base for my workpiece to rest on. 
This allowed the insides of the armrest to then be sanded flush. I took the seat out of the clamps and added a small chamfer all the way around on the top and bottom. This makes the seat a little more comfortable and softens the edges. This is especially important as it will be used by a toddler. I then did the same with the armrest. I followed this up with a ton of hand sanding. I decided to laser engrave my logo and website onto the bottom of the chair and this turned out really nice. I drilled the holes for the legs a little deeper to give some more support and a greater surface area for the glue to adhere to. I then began assembling the top of the chair. I twisted the dowels into the holes to help spread the glue around. I took apart the armrest layers and removed the double sided tape. I then marked the final lengths of the side supports using the position of the top and cut them up with a hacksaw. could be glued and clamped. test fit the legs and there was quite a bit of play in them due to the drill jigs not really providing much accuracy with such a large hole. I decided to use a pocket hole and screw for each of the legs to provide additional strength. More than anything this provided clamping pressure with the glue joint and I don't think that the fixing is ultimately providing much. The screws were on the bottom so at least they wouldn't be seen. I did also try to avoid ruining the laser engraved branding. <laughs> I decided to fill the pocket holes with some wood filler, even though the screw heads stuck out slightly, so they would never really be completely hidden, but this definitely neatened the compromise up.
marked out the bottom of the legs using a bench top as a reference plane. I then cut the legs down but not to their final height. I cut at approximately the correct angle so the bottom of the legs would sit flush on the floor. I then crept up on the previously marked out lines on the disc sander, checking that the chair sat without rocking several times and making minor adjustments in between. I gave the piece a final sanding down to 240 grit. This took quite some time. I applied three coats of satin polyurethane based varnish, sanding between coats and buffing slightly at the end to achieve a nice sheen. I then added felt pads to the bottom to finish the piece. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or improvements I could have made to this project. Thanks for watching.